Good morning, everyone. This is Miss Rachel from the William Jeans Memorial Library, and we are here for another online edition of Sensory Storytime. I'm so glad that you're here, and I hope that you are all doing very well. We are going to follow our order of things like we always do. We'll start with a song to sing good morning to all of you. Then we'll read our first book. And then we'll sing another song. And then we'll read another book. And after that, then that's when we start get moving. We'll do our shaker song. And if you don't have shaker eggs at home, you can pause the movie now and you can see if you can find something that you can use to shake with. You can use a maraca if you have one. You can use a rattle if you have one from when you were a baby or from a baby brother or sister. You can make one by putting beans or rice inside a container. So when we get to our shaker song, you can shake along. And then we'll do a song with scarves. And again, you don't have to have a scarf like we use at story time. You can use anything that you can hold in your hand and wave around. And then we'll do bubbles. If you have bubbles at your house, you can have them ready to do. If you're allowed to blow them inside, if not, maybe you can take them outside. And if you don't have bubbles, that's okay too. You can watch the bubbles that I'm gonna blow and see if you can touch them on your screen. All right, let's start with our first song. We're gonna say good morning to everyone. Let's all clap cause you're out there, you're out there, you're out there. Let's all clap cause you're out there, you're out there today. Let's all clap cause I am here, I am here, I am here. Let's all clap cause I am here, I am here today. Let's all clap cause we're all here, we're all here, we're all here. Let's all clap cause we're all here, we're all here today. Wherever you are, we are together when we are having story time. And hopefully I will see you in person before too long for story time at the library. But for now, welcome to online story time. Thanks for joining me for our first song. Now we're going to read our first book. This book has a song in it. I'm going to come a little closer so you can see the wonderful illustrations in this book. It's called The Wheels on the Bus, and it's illustrated by Melanie Williamson. And it is kind of like The Wheels on the Bus that you might know, but the words have been adapted by Stella Blackstone. You'll notice they're a little different because this version takes place in Guatemala, which is a country in Central America. I'm gonna read this with the permission of the publisher, Barefoot Books. And if you get the hang of it, feel free to sing along with me. The bus starts up with a rumble and crunch. The driver calls out, we'll be there by lunch. The bus starts up with a rumble and a crunch on the journey to the town. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round, on over dusty ground, over dusty ground. The wheels on the bus go round and round. I think I messed that up a little because I was getting very excited about the wheels on the bus, but you get the idea. The children on the bus all shout and play along the way, along the way. The children on the bus all shout and play on the journey to the town. The poppy stand up to sing and hum, bang a drum, bang a drum. The poppy stand up to sing and hum on the journey to the town. You can bang a drum along with us if you want. The babies on the bus all start to cry, bouncing low. Bouncing high, the babies on the bus all start to cry on the journey to the town. 
the wheel on the bus goes bang! Did I scare you? I bet when the wheel on the bus went bang, it scared everybody who was riding. What is going to happen now? Look at all those surprised faces. Uh, granny at the back says, never fear, Granny's here, Granny's here. A uh, granny at the back says, never fear, on the journey into town. Let's just see, what is everyone doing in this picture? There's all kinds of things happening. See what happens next. The mommies on the bus have found a spare. It's over there. It's over there. The mommies on the bus have found a spare on the journey to the town. The mommies found the spare tire and the kids are taking a break and eating some delicious Watermelon, yep. This is the part that gets good. The people on the street help lift it high. More stop by, more stop by. The people on the street help lift it high on the journey to the town. You see all the people that have come to help change the tire on the bus? The wheels on the bus go round again. Thank you, friends. Thank you, friends. The wheels on the bus go round again. All the way to town. If you ever check this book out from the library, once we reopen, you can find out a lot more about Guatemala from this book. And you already know the tune, so you can read the book and sing along with the words that are a little bit different to go along with a fun little song with some beautiful illustrations and a story of teamwork. All right. Thank you, my friends, for joining me for our first book this morning. That means it's time for another song. We are going to get moving a little bit. Are you ready? We'll start nice and slow. Everyone can tap, tap, tap. Oh, you can't see my legs, can you? I'm tapping my legs. Let's see if I can make them go higher. There we go. Everyone can tap, 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 tap. Everyone can tap, tap, tap here at story time. Everyone can snap. Can you snap? Maybe not everyone can snap. Give it a try and you can see. Everyone can snap, 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 snap. Everyone can snap, snap, snap here at story time. Everyone can clap, 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 clap. Everyone can clap, clap, clap here at story time. Everyone can shake, 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 shake. Everyone can shake, shake, shake here at story time. You can't see my feet, but you're going to hear them. Everyone can stop, stop, stop. Sway, 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 sway. Everyone can sway, sway, sway here at story time. Everyone can stretch, 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 stretch. Everyone can stretch, stretch, stretch here at story time. Everyone can jump up high, jump up high, jump up high. Everyone
everyone can jump up high here at story time. Everyone can sit back down, sit back down, sit back down. Everyone can sit back down here at story time. Everyone sitting back down? Very good. That means we're ready for our next book. Wait till you see what happens in this next book. If you come to Sensory Storytime at the William Jeans Library, you might have heard this book before because it is one of my favorites. And when we read it in person at Sensory Storytime, sometimes the kids get to help me with this book. So we can't do that exactly the same way since we're doing it online. But I hope that you'll still enjoy it. It's called Get Out of My Bath by Britta Tekentrup. And I'm going to read this with permission of the publisher, Nosy Crow, which is part of Candlewick Press. Hello, Ellie. It's Ellie's bath time. Can you help her make some waves? Gently shake the book from side to side. Then turn the page and see what happens. Whoa, I did a good job. Look at these waves. Now I'm gonna tilt the book to the left and see what happens. Hooray! This is fun. Now I'm gonna tilt the book to the right. <gasps> but what's this? There's a crocodile in Ellie's bath. Ellie does not look happy. Can you say, get out crocodile? You ready? We'll say it together. One, two, three. Get out crocodile! Oh dear, that didn't work. Crocodile is still there. And now Flamingo is in the bath too. And look. Tiger has just jumped in with a great big splash. This bath is very crowded. Surely no one else can fit in, right? Eek, it's a mouse! Look! There are too many animals in this bath. We should try to shake them out. Are you ready? One more shake. <sighs> that didn't work. And it looks like Ellie's had enough. She shouts, get out of my bath. Then she sucks up the water with her long trunk. <laughs> until all the water is gone. <laughs> the animals are shivering. Let's go, they say. And when Ellie is sure that the animals have left, she squirts all the water back into her bath. Ah, now there's lots of room in Ellie's bath again. Maybe it's time for your bath now. Is it time for your bath? drops of bath water. Some of us take baths in the morning and some of us take baths at nighttime before bed. I wonder if you are a nighttime bath kid or a morning bath kid. Hmm. All right, it's time to shake my friends. It might be kind of hard to see, but next is shake time. All right, I have 
to get my song set up because just like in real life at story time, sometimes I have technical difficulties with this part. So thanks for being patient. Because I had the song all ready to go on my computer and then my computer went to sleep while I was reading. I guess they were not that excited about my songs. I mean my stories. All right. That's a good sign. That means the speaker's ready. Now we'll see if the song is ready. All right. Like I said before, if you don't have a shaker egg at home, that's okay. You can take an empty bottle, put some dried beans in it, or some quinoa in a little container. Makes a softer sound. But my favorite, favorite, favorite new shaker that I've discovered how to make is a little bottle like this with rice. So those are gonna be my shakers for today. You can pause if you need to go get something to shake, or you can just shake your body. It doesn't make a sound unless you clap, but that counts too. Shake it, shake it, everybody. Whoop. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Come on and shake it with me. Come on, shake it. shaking with me friends it's always my favorite part and I can picture your shaking skills and your smiling faces all right after shaker eggs it's time for scarves and don't worry if you don't have a scarf at home you can find this kind of a scarf you might wear around your neck that might be a little bit hot but you can use it to wave around or 
down in my yucky bag here. You can use something like a cloth napkin. Whoa. I don't want that to fall over. A cloth napkin could be your scarf. A tissue, as long as it's a clean one, that could be your scarf. Or maybe you do have something that's kind of like a story time scarf that you can use. I am going to use today a cloth napkin. So if you need to pause to go get something to use as your scarf, you could do that and then come back and we'll do our scarf song. We wave up high like this. We wave up high like this. With our friends at story time, we wave up high like this. We wave down low like this. We wave down low like this. With our friends at story time, we wave down low like this. We wave around and around. We wave around and around. With our friends at story time, we wave around and around. We wave slowly like this. We wave slowly like this. With our friends at story time, we wave slowly like this. So you know what's next. We wave quickly like this. We wave quickly like this. With our friends at story time, we wave quickly like this. We wave quickly like this. We wave quickly like this. With our friends at story time, we wave quickly like this. We wave side to side, we wave side to side, with our friends at story time, we wave side to side. We wave goodbye like this, we wave goodbye like this, to our friends at story time, we wave goodbye like this. You can wave goodbye. Bye bye, I'll see you next time. Don't worry, I'm still gonna blow bubbles for you before you go, so don't turn it off yet. We will do our bubbles. And if you have bubbles at home, you can do that with us, or you can take them outside, or if you don't, you can see if you can touch them on the screen as you see them as I'm blowing them. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. <sighs> Whoops, get a little better as we go. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. <sighs> there are bubbles in the air. <sighs> there are bubbles everywhere. <sighs> there are bubbles in the air, everywhere. Did you catch any? There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high. There are bubbles in the sky. There are bubbles way up high in the sky. There are bubbles way down low, way down low. There are bubbles way down low, way down low. There are bubbles way down low, and they tickle on your toes. There are bubbles way down low on your toes. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye. And the bubbles say goodbye. My cat likes the bubbles. She's down here catching them, but you can't see it. She has one on her eyelash. 
say goodbye until next time. And the bubbles say goodbye. Till next time. Bye bye bubbles. And goodbye to my friends. And I'm going to show you if I can my cat with a bubble on her whisker. Let's see if I can make it turn around. I can't do it. I'll try this way. Bye-bye, my friends. Thanks for coming to Sensory Storytime. We'll see you next time.